player props here on price picks for monday march 20th before i get started there's a link in the description below to sign up for price picks or you guys can use promo code tuff to sign up price picks will match 100 percent of your first deposit there's a discord link in the description where the main server is completely free we also have that patreon link in the description where i do post all the plays here that i'm making on price picks for each given sport that i do play i do need to mention i'm not a gambling expert not financial advice these are simply just the plays i'm personally looking at making hopefully give you guys some insight and analysis to make your own player prop decisions here but let's not waste any time, you guys. Let's just get right into these plays. We got six games on the slate today, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, six games. Six games on the slate. Um, so a decent sized slate. Not the greatest slate in the world, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I got I got two plays here that I'm looking at for tonight's slate. Let's go. So the first one I'm looking at is going to be DeMar DeRozan over 36 and a half fantasy score against Philly. DeRozan has actually honestly really been playing well as of late. 43, 47, 45, 79.8 in this double OT game, and then 54 last game versus Miami. He's been playing really, really well as of late. This the game does have an eight and a half point spread, so there is some blowout potential here, but the Bulls have been playing decently well. Um, I think they've been actually playing a lot better since Patrick Beverly kind of goes inserted into that lineup. He kind of gave them what they needed. Um, Caruso is questionable. Obviously, we would want him to play as well just to help keep that defense intact. Um, hopefully, keep this game a little bit closer. But DeMar DeRozan, all right. Well, let's take a look at this. DeMar DeRozan's fantasy score averages over his last seven games. So, obviously, uh, Price Picks is going to show his last five here. Taking a look at his last seven games, really since that game against Toronto where they kind of locked him up, um, he's averaging 49.5 fantasy score, and he's hit the over on this in six of his last seven games, right? 49.5 fantasy. All we need tonight is uh, 36.6. He's been playing extremely well. We know DeMar DeRozan plays actually better on the road. If we take a look at his home versus away splits this season, he averages over 1.1 more points per game on the road, um, close to one po or close to point six more assists, more rebounds. Um, he shoots better three point percentage, shoots slightly less um, from the field, obviously, but he takes more field goal attempts um, on the road as well. Just the usage goes up across the board. Um, you can see here his fantasy score game log this season on the road. Pretty high hit rate for this as well. Again, we just need around this 37.9 would be the clear rate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we sit this in 15 of 25 games on the road now. 15 of his last 25 games here on the road. Um, he said this in his last three games on the road. He had 43 in a tough matchup versus Denver here. Um, DeMar DeRozan also, we take a look at his odds here. Um, for his PRA, it's minus 133 to go over 32 and a half. Um, pretty much... That's the best odds here for on Caesars. Um, if you do want to pivot and look at his points plus assists here at 27 and a half, I do definitely do think this line gets bumped. Um, just to, you know, give you guys some value here at 27 and a half. Great odds as well. Minus 140 to go over uh, 27 and a half. Minus 139 is the consensus. I'm going to go with fantasy score here though. Um, just because he, you know, he gets 27 and a half. He gets 28 PA. Uh, he has been getting significant blocks and steals as well. You can see here three blocks and steals. Um, or I'm not on the road. Let's just do game log this season. Uh, game log this season. Spelled season wrong. Um, but you can see here three steals, three steals, two steals, three blocks and steals, three steals. I mean, so he's been getting in those passing lanes. I mean, he's had at least um, two stocks, essentially in his last five games which obviously helps quite a bit with fantasy score purposes um, but i just really think he's locked in i think they're going to need him tonight chicago kind of playing for their playoff um hopes these last couple of games so i definitely think they're going to be you know demar rosen is going to have his significant normal usage that he normally has in this lineup here right 35 plus minutes tonight um, decent matchup versus philly it's not the greatest matchup but we know that philly has been getting cooked by shooting guards lately um, DeMar DeRozan with this new kind of lineup moves to the power forward position and that's actually been a place of vulnerability this season for Philly and we took a, take a look at PJ Tucker who did not go through shoot around this morning due to an ankle injury so could see PJ Tucker out the lineup which should help DeMar DeRozan as well um, we just also take a look at some wings fantasy score game luck against Philly I mean Donovan Mitchell Anthony Edwards Anthony Simmons Car Karis LeVert all cleared this line and just I mean these are the last couple of games here um, Aaron Naismith just last game I mean, if you take a look at just wings alone, right? Uh, look at the Pacers' wings, right? These are Pacers' wings versus uh, Philly. Nora had 28. Naismith had 36. Nemhart had 25. Buddy Hilt had 26. And Brissett had 20. So we saw all five Pacer wings hit the over on this. Um, in the last game, we saw Lavert and Donovan Mitchell combine to hit this in the other game before that. 
Um, Kerry Kispert had 30 P uh, fantasy here um, against Washington. I mean, against Philly. So I just think that combined with DeMoy DeMar DeRozan has been playing, obviously the usage he's going to get. I like the over here on this one. And then the second one I'm playing is going to be one that's um, actually done us dirty before, but I'm going back to it here. It's going to be uh, Tyus Jones over uh, seven and a half assists. If we take a look at this, Tyus Jones, since being the point guard for the Memphis Grizzlies starting, he's hit this in two of his last two, um, one, two, technically five of his last eight games. He has hit the over in this since becoming that full-time starter with John Morant out. He actually has faced Dallas earlier this season or since a starter on March 11th at home, and he had 10 assists, and in that game, he had 10 assists on 17 potential assists. Um, I'm going back to this one here, though, because we saw Tyus Jones have the 10 assists against Dallas, and then the next game on the road had three assists, which is very, very disappointing here. Um, but if we take a look at this game here on the road against Dallas, where he only had three assists, um, the team as a whole didn't really shoot that well, and Dallas was just out Luka and Kyrie, which kind of obviously slows the pace down, slows the total overall scoring of the game down quite a bit here. Um, but both those guys looking like they're going to be back. I know for sure Kyrie should be back tonight. It looks like Luka might be back here as well. Um, he's questionable, which is a good sign. So if both those guys are back here on the road, I think it put, creates this great opportunity here for Tyus Jones. If you take a look at the odds, it's minus 130 on BetMGM to go over 7.5, over 7.5 on Party Casino, minus 130 here. Um, if you take a look at Tyus Jones with John Morant at home, off with John Morant off the floor at home, um, in a 615-minute sample size, he averages 9.2 assists. Obviously, which is up quite a bit from, you know, averages 3.9 more assists with John Moran off the court, obviously. And then point guards against Dallas, right? We've talked about this. Dallas has been vulnerable to point guards since the trade deadline, since their defense has gotten a lot weaker. Over the last 15 games, Dallas giving up the fourth most assists to the point guard position. Some other point guards recently, we just saw D'Angelo Russell have 11. Tyus Jones here before that had 10. And then just some other point guards, I mean... Um, Mike Conley had nine. Obviously, this is before uh, John Morant went out, but uh, Mike Conley, I mean, before the trade deadline. Uh, Mike Conley had nine. Dennis Schroeder had eight here after the trade deadline. Bruce Brown had six. Um, so it's a great spot here for Tyus Jones at home. Again, coming off back-to-back -back games here of 14 and 10 assists. I think he kind of knows what he needs to do to initiate the offense for this team. I like uh, Tyus Jones over 7.5 assists. So these are the two plays here for this YouTube video. DeMar DeRozan over 36.5 fantasy. Tyus Jones over 7.5 assists. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about these plays. Drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and as always, let's cash.